I'm going to attempt to replace the blower motor, heater blower motor right here on this uh, 1976 Ford F-150 without factory AC. Um, supposedly, I can uh, take the heater hoses off, loosen up the box and just pull it away from the firewall and have enough room to get up behind to unscrew or un undo the bolts that hold the motor in and take it out without taking the entire he uh, heater box out which you'd want to take this whole box out if you were gonna if you need to do the heater core uh, my heater core is fine it's not leaking yet anyway um, I've already taken this thing off the little vent control it just has some screws that go around it that's pretty pretty simple. there's a couple on top here that are a little more difficult to get out out but that's I was able to reach up there and get them if the guy wanted to you could take the glove box liner out and then you'd have more room to work in there if you need um, again I'm gonna try to do this without uh, the least amount of effort possible if that makes sense without cutting anything out this is just an old farm pickup so I don't wanna kinda of afraid to start taking all these controllers and stuff off you don't wanna break something if I don't have to uh, again, so I'm going to try to um, just pull that away, loosen it up to pull that out away from the firewall enough to get up behind here to get those bolts taken off. So, uh, to start out, I've got these little clamps I get from uh, Harbor Freight. Um, put them on the heater hoses here so I don't have to drain the coolant out of the engine. I'm going to lose some coolant, obviously, when these lines come unhooked, I'm going to lose some, but this will keep coolant from back flowing out of the radiator since the radiator is higher. Um, so I'll get started on that. Hoses are off. These two nuts here are off. That one there, that one there. Spray a little um, penetrating oil on those. I would recommend before you uh, try to take them off just because this is kind of exposed to elements. I use a little oil can full of half ATF, half acetone. Um, like I said, it works awesome for penetrating oil. Um, but whatever, WD-40. PB Blaster is my, really my other favorite if I had to get some in a can. Um, these little guys here, these hose removal tools are handy. I didn't end up needing one. These just slid off. But uh, if you have to work these, these are nice. You can get them behind there and work them up underneath the hose and sometimes peel the hose off without completely destroying it with the two nuts and the heater hoses removed from the engine bay this heater box will now that. it'll pull out away from the firewall and there's quite a bit of room there I'm gonna be able to get up a, a good four inches I can get a three and a half I can get a two by four in there and space that out to work so now I'm gonna take the keeper off of the blower uh, fan so the shaft will come out. Also need to mention to remember to unhook the power wires for the blower fan. Um, that one has a screw that screws in the firewall. That's the ground. And the hot has a plug. Uh, goes into that line there. There's two 7 16 bolts between this. Or nuts, sorry. Uh, 7 16 nuts between the firewall and the heater box. Let's see if I can kind of get it in there and show you. At least the bottom one. Yeah, so right there and then around on the top there on the other side there's another one. You can see it there in the background. Uh, that one's a little hard to get from down here. I actually found sneak, uh, snake in my arm up between the outside the, like where the fender is and the heater box in the corner was had more room than coming around on the inside uh, or you could if you had the glove box out I think you could get to that right from the top real easy so I might end up having to take the glove box out if this goes that direction I'm not sure yet so far I'm leaving it in uh, those are the same bolts that hold it in for the, the, on the outside too so they're just nuts on the outside nuts on the inside uh, so I'll take those off so I got the uh, 7 16 size nuts out um, and it looks like now there are a couple of quarter inch um, 
two or three probably. You can see it right there in the middle. There's one there. Um, I'm not sure I'll get a picture of the other one. Anyway, so I'm going to reach up there, get all those little screws taken out that must fasten the sheet metal bracket. Boy, that's getting worse. Sheet metal bracket to the back of the heater box. Um, I'm starting to think now I don't need to, that keeper doesn't need to come off the fan. It might come out with that whole bracket. It looks like it's big enough that uh, that'll call come out with it. So we'll see here in a second. There were two of these uh, screws up on the back of there. So that fastens the sheet metal to the back of that heater box, which I don't know if those are really going to be required when I reassemble it. it Maybe it might have been easier to hold everything in place or seal it better at the factory, but if what this is, I might just uh, I might not put those, worry about putting those back in because it's still held on by the nut. The nuts on that that go through the firewall. So, um, I kind of had to push in on the, on the blower fan and the motor while I pulled the box out. But now the whole unit's dislodged and the fan does come out so that keeper doesn't need to come off like I did earlier. So now the trick is going to be wiggling the blower motor assembly out uh, out from behind here with the space that I have. So I think would be fine. This comes out quite a, quite a ways so uh, I will work on that and see how that goes. But so far so good. So I was kind of right, but kind of wrong about the fan. Um, this will fit out the back, but then there's not enough room to get the motor and the fan all out. So now that I've taken that off, uh, there's a lot more room. I'll, I could, uh, I'm gonna see if I can still get this out, which I should be able to, that whole plate. If not, a guy could just unbolt it right here and take it out, but. Oh, okay, I can get it out of there. But again, so the wheel does have the cage does have to come off, at least to do it this way. Uh, which so I sprayed a little lube on that shaft to make that easier to slide out. It took a little bit of working because I didn't want to pry on the outside of this wheel and break it. I wanted to only put pressure on the center, so I kind of just shoved my hand up there between the motor and the and the fan wheel and. Uh, it took a punch and kind of tapped on the inside of that too, just to kind of help jostle it loose a little bit, but it, it didn't come out. So what I just did that I think is going to make this easier, um, so I pulled the, at the box and everything out, and I, I just, I had a hard time, or I, I'm not able to get the motor out from behind with the, with the big sheet metal surround attachers. I could probably really wrestle it, but I don't want to pull on this box and tweak it too much. I don't want to break something else. Um, so what I did is I just dropped the wheel out the back side. There's plenty of room between the plastic housing and the, the blower housing. When you got it apart, it'll just drop out. So now I'm just gonna, so I just put it back up in place and then I'm gonna take those two nuts off and then, uh, and then tried it and then the motor should come out um, without a problem. I think it'll push right out the fire or pull right back out of the firewall. So um, I guess realistically, it's too early to just tell it safe for now, but if this were just clearanced enough that a guy could get the blower motor or the blower fan out, um, then a guy wouldn't have to do any of this stuff. You could just take the, just take this off, the cover off. And if that exposed the outer wheel, you know, of the blower, then I could just pop that right out, get right to those two nuts, and take it right out the firewall without doing nothing else. So, um, I don't normally engineer these things to take them apart. So, I don't know. So, that worked fine. Those are 3 8 um, nuts on that motor. So,. Again, the, the heater box is right back in stock location um, after I got the, the fan out the back. And once the nuts were off of the motor, it just pulled right out, um, right out this way. So um, I just had kind of a funny idea. 
that a guy could maybe do um, is if there were a couple holes drilled in this in the right in the correct locations that just gave you access you know when you get the fan lined up just right just to get a socket through there to unscrew that motor while everything's in place then the guy wouldn't have to take the heater box apart I wouldn't think unless I'm missing something I think that would be all you would need to pull this out other than you know taking that vent door off so I might play with that when I go back to put this I haven't ordered a new motor yet I, I, I wanted to get it apart before I messed with doing it this one was just squeaking the motor worked fine um, but the bearings were howling I tried spraying some lube down in there but it doesn't actually get to where you need it very easily so uh, I'll get a new motor and get put back together but but there you have it there's taking the motor out blower motor out without taking the whole heater box out just slipping it out enough to get some space um, so it is doable and this is definitely what I would recommend unless you need a heater core um, then but then you got to take all the controls all that stuff off which is doable but um, not not as much fun as this I guess so uh, say it's successful.